My name is Sun Nguyen. I am a technical marketing engineer at Cisco. Cisco DNA Center provides the policy, automation, and analytic required to adapt to change, simplify your network and scale operation. Traditionally, what we used to do is order Cisco devices and then switches or router or access point will ship to a staging center. Here, you will have an engineer which have at least a CCNA or NP level to sort of manually update the software or some sort of configuration on the device. Then after everything is done, you repackage everything, then ship to the site and add its cut over time, you might have your engineer travel to the site to make sure everything bring up seamlessly and without any problem. So as you can see, this is the process we've been onboard device in the past. What the problem here is the cost, like travel, logistic, configuration errors, and differences in software and not very secure. But fundamentally, we do not have to do this anymore. This is the reason we introduced plug and play on Cisco DNA Center. What this solution essentially does is we're trying to provide an easy onboarding experience for our Cisco customers. They can quickly bring up these devices without going through, you know, what they've been doing traditionally in the past. So if you order your Cisco device from CCW, you can have it shipped directly to the final destination. And then maybe someone who not very technical at the site can power up the device and the network admin can onboard it quickly and securely. This way, you can dramatically reduce the logistic cost, time associated with onboarding process and standardize on software and configuration for your network devices. This is the main goal of this solution we call Cisco Plug and Play. So the next thing I want to show you is how PNP provision workflow works. Let's say we have this connection discovery successful. What are different types of workflow that could be exist for the PNP solution? So the number one solution is unclaimed. Unclaimed workflow, which is the most common way for customer to onboard device via PNP. The network admin will need to provide an IP address of Cisco DNA Center via DHCP option 43. When device first get IP address via DHCP, the network admin then can log into DNA Center. At that time, can decide what kind of image or what kind of configuration push to the device and then you successfully claim that device for day zero. The second is what we call pre-provision workflow, where network admin can select which image and configuration to push the device even before device get power on or arrive on site. Once the device is power on, the workflow is the same as unclaimed workflow, where it points to Cisco DNA Center via option 43, and then claim is automatic. The third method is what we call PNP Connect Workflow. When you order your Cisco devices via CCW and Cisco logistic team fulfill them, the serial number of these devices get added to customer smart account and Cisco DNA Center sync the device from smart account and wait for device to be power on. Once the device power on, it is redirect to PNP Connect and then it is redirect to your on-prem Cisco DNA Center and device is seen on PNP screen. In the next couple of slides, I will go through these three different provisioning and quick demo of how to claim a device. Now, let's take a look at our first option, which is unclaim. Unclaim means we don't have any tasks or configuration images for this device yet. Now, let's say you have this 9300, which is running iOS XE software. All iOS XP device family have the PNP agent running on it. Someone at the site, which is not very technical, power on the device. The device will get an IP address from the AC server and also the IP address of your Cisco DNA Center. Once the exchange is done and Cisco DNA Center has slapped HTTPS connection, the device will show up on your Cisco DNA Center as unclaimed, waiting for the network admin to claim the device. And in order to claim the device, the network admin just need to assign to a site and attach a COI template if there is one, upgrade the device software on the device, and then claim. Once the claim is done, the device will show up in your Cisco DNA inventory. To access the PNP page on your Cisco DNA center, navigate to provision, plug and play. On this page, there are a list of devices ready to be claimed. Select one such device, claim, 
under action. Now look for our next video on how to for PNP for the complete workflow. Moving on to our second option, which is pre-provision workflow. Before you can pre-provision, add and claim, assign to site, attach a CLI template, and also upgrade software to these devices. Traditionally, you ordered the device from CCW, and then you don't have a smart account or you didn't link to your smart account for that PO. That's normally is from your partner or Cisco somehow. You should get a list of serial number for your order, and then you will upload that CSV file for your devices into Cisco DNA Center. So essentially, before the device even power on, you have all the device you own in Cisco DNA Center, and the network admin can make a decision as to what kind of configurations or image you need for those devices, even before the device arrive on site or power on. And through the discovery mechanism to find the DNA center, you already plan the configuration or image for them. They will be automatically provisioned. Let's have a look at the third option, which is PNP Connect. If you look at this solution, when the device power on, I just want to emphasize on step number five there. Cisco DNA Center can download the serial number automatically and they also can register itself to PNP Connect portal page as the on-prem DNA center for your organization. Once the device is powered on, they will look for the device helper.com in PNP Connect portal page in the back end, and then this will give the serial number, and then based on the configuration on the PNP Connect portal, we will redirect it to your on-prem DNA center, and then the rest will be exactly the same, like push configuration through secure connection between your DNA center and your network devices. Thank you for watching the overview of plug and play on Cisco DNA center. Here are some important link about Cisco plug and play and documentation for your references. Also feel free to watch more of our other videos on the official Cisco DNA center YouTube channel, where we are creating a short but insightful videos that are for network administrators and for our customer to get them quick answers they need with a live demo. Thank you so much.